Hi, well, I wanted to do another video on weapons in art, and specifically original Disney World War II art. So this guy here is the only, this is the only image where there's not an actual weapon, unless you want to count the horns on his head. The first three are military insignias made for the U.S. forces by Hank Porter. Porter was the head of the Disney Studio Insignia World War II project. And he came up with this design for the Marine Aircraft Group 23. That was the first group of Marine pilots to see action against the Japanese, and they also fought at the Battle of Guadalcanal. It's a really cool piece of work, and it's great to see the, uh, the hand-drawn original. I know I've said this before, but we're so lucky that things like this still exist. We're going to look at three today. They're all by Hank Porter, and they all represent this nexus of military and popular art. And this next one features Donald Duck, and if you notice, he's actually not riding an airplane. Look at the back there. It's a bomb, right? It's a torpedo, because this was made for a torpedo bomber squad. They were known as the VT-8, or 8th Torpedo Squad, and they were assigned to several, or you know, more than one, um, carrier, and they fought in the pivotal Battle of the Midway. And there's a lot of great touches here. You can see kind of the, uh, the motion, you know, the frenetic energy, right? As they're racing forward, you notice the waves below that. And there's the ocean, because this is a torpedo getting dropped from a plane. Uh, technically, Donald's on a suicide mission here, if you want to be literal about it, but that was not the intention, of course. Like the last one, it's cool here how they've actually been cut out already, so you can see how the kind of decal design is taking shape. All of the insignias we're looking at in this video were drawn, well, one by Hank Porter, as I said, but also uh, with graphite, if you're wondering about method, and it's on what's called a onion skin paper. The weapon there was obviously a torpedo, and we go aerial again, but this time it's a fighter plane, and this was made for Fighting Squadron 50, which was a group of Navy fighter planes. I don't know the character's name here, uh, but I love that he's oversized. That's something they did a lot, just like with Donald in the last one. So he's he's riding the plane, but you know it's not it doesn't have to make sense. It just looks cooler that way. So he's this giant fierce cat. You can see he's got horns, which would not be normal. Claws are out, and he's breathing fire, no less. And that makes more sense if you know that these planes, in particular, were called Hellcat fighter planes. F6F was the designation, and they were also called Devil Cats. So there you go. Love the working notes, or whatever you call them. I obviously don't know anything about <laughs> illustration uh, that you can see on there as well. And this one here is by James Bodrero. And this is kind of a in-studio, in-joke, if you will. Because it shows Nazi soldiers busting in on a Disney animator busy at work. And you can see the drawing in front of him is actually a map of Europe. And he's got those pins in his mouth, and he's plotting them out. So, in this scenario, he's somehow helping out with the war effort. You can see the soldiers have fixed bayonets, and the one closest to us uh, has a grenade in his hand, a kind of a novelty-size uh, giant grenade, and it's the old-fashioned kind with the wooden handle. This is a watercolor painting, by the way, so that's why it looks so different from the graphite drawings that we saw previously. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed these pieces of pop art and World War II history. Thanks.